Hi everybody, I'm just going to show you the things you should be looking for when you first turn on the Garmin 430. As the unit starts up, it goes through a self-test mode, and you should uh, watch everything it shows here. Now this particular video is being shot with the, uh, the software from the, the Garmin website. You can see that the database on this uh, unit expired in 2007, so it's way out of date here uh, and that would be completely unacceptable if we were going to go flying IFR but this is just a demonstration so let's accept that it's uh, sometime in October or November of 2007 for the purpose of this video so once we're happy with the dates here we're just going to, uh, to press the enter button and then it brings us up to the panel self-test page where we should pause here for a minute and make sure that everything is okay. So the first thing we want to do is uh, notice the, the indication up here. It says that the lateral CDI should be half deflection to the left, so we're looking for that on our HSI. It says that the lateral flag should be out of view, and it is. Uh, the vertical CDI should be half up, which it is, and the vertical flag should be out of view, which it is. It also says that the two from flag should be reading two, uh, but in reality on this HSI it's not reading at all, so that's a little bit concerning. That says here that the RMI should be pointing at 135, but the RMI on this unit is pointing at 360, so that's a bit concerning as well. Uh, it says that the OBS should read 000. Uh, and we can see that the OBS is set to 000, so that is correct. However, uh, I would recommend that we also check it on 90, 180, and 270. So we're just going to grab the uh, this OBS selector on the HSI, turn it to 090. Set that as accurately as you can on the HSI. See what you get on the Garmin. So I'm getting 88. And that's not bad. Two degrees off. I can live with that. And I set 180. And I get right on 180. Can't do much better than that. Then I set 270 on my HSI. And I get 268. Again, I can live with that. And then back to 360 or 0. And I'm getting 359 or maybe 0. Uh, so that's not too bad. If that's off more than about 3 degrees, I would start to complain to the maintenance department. Uh, this is very easy to calibrate. Um, so if it's off a bit, the maintenance department can calibrate it very easily, so make sure you get that done. Uh, note that we have an indication that the enunciator is on and the current desired track is 150. There's no way to check that here with the mechanical HSI, but if we had an electronic uh, EFIS or electronic HSI, that desired track would be set for us automatically. At this point, if you so desire, you could uh, set your fuel capacity, your fuel on board, and your fuel flow. I'm not going to demonstrate that here in this video. So at this point, the panel check is done. Just tap the Enter button. Uh, we get a brief display of how many satellites the receiver um, currently has. And then we're brought to the Nav2 page where we can begin. So I'll end this video at this point and make another video about uh, setting up the radios a bit later. Okay, see you next time.